Hi friends, in this lesson you will learn how to create multiple columns layout inside Bricks Builder. There are two ways to create columns and rows inside a Bricks Builder. First, a manual way to create everything from start. Then I will show you a faster way to create multiple columns and rows by using layout elements. To create columns and rows, we use these three elements. Section, container, a block element. First we add a section, then we add a container inside a section. After adding a container, it depends on the layout. For example, if there is no need of any rows and columns, you can directly add text, buttons, images inside it. If we need a columns and rows, we use a block element. If you need two rows, then add two blocks inside it. One and two. Now you can see we have created two rows. One and two. You want to add more rows, you can add another block inside it. So we have created these three rows. If you need a columns, not a row, then we will change its direction. Select its parent container and change the direction from rows to column. Now you have noticed we have changed just a direction, so it become a columns. If you need a more columns like four or five, and you will need to add more blocks inside it by adding blocks you can increase the number of columns this is a manual way to create columns and rows we have created all these columns and rows manually by adding section container and blocks there is a second method to quickly create columns and rows let me show now let's try a faster way first add a section when you will add a section bricks will automatically add a container inside it to speed up our process you can see it in a structure panel to create a columns and rows select a container and now you will see here a layout icon by clicking on this icon it will show you different ready-made layouts for example this is two column this is three column this is four column so you can directly choose any layout from this it will speed up your website making process for example you need a three column layout you can just click on this you have noticed we have quickly created three columns layout in this lesson you have learned two ways to create columns and rows a manual way and by using a ready-made layout in the next lesson you will learn about a flexbox